Well, this is a uh, the shrine or pagoda, what you want to call it. And we should be able to get a good view. Well, what do you say? Not really spectacular, isn't it? I'm going to continue walking until the place uh, where the huge bell was and a little bit further. You had a very good view from there, so maybe it's better from that spot. There are a lot of people on the track climbing up the stairs for workout. And I can tell you it's a really good workout to come up here. Alright, I just walked all the way up to the Western Command Post. Uh, the highest point of the entire fortress. And from here you have a very good view to the downtown area of Suvon, so I'm just going to turn the camera for you to look. And it's even such a beautiful night, damn, it's great up here. Earlier during the day it was windy, but now it's calm. And besides me, I was expecting to be alone up here, but besides me, there are several other people up here enjoying the view. And there it is again, the parade ground. But I'm definitely not going to walk the entire forest again. Yeah, you definitely have to do this too, if you're around in this area. Don't forget to gear up by day and by night. You know, I would even say it's busier during the evening hours than during the daytime. See if you can see this row of tiny lights. That is exactly how uh, the wall goes. So, oh yeah, damn, now you can see it very good. I forgot about that. So that's what, what I walked the entire day today. 
starting there you can see the row of lights the, s the small lights it looks like a chain that's all the wall it goes all the way down there to the south wow that's quite a bit I don't know I think it took me around two hours to complete the whole track and that was on a moderate speed <laughs> that is far This one is a crossbow tower and the guard post. So if you happen to visit South Korea and you have only limited time left, you might want to stick to Seoul, but this place here is uh, not very far from Seoul, so you can always do a half day trip down here enjoy the fortress and then head back to your original place it's not really necessary to stay here overnight but it's beautiful so don't just go skipping this part you gotta do this <clears throat> <laughs> so by coincidence I reached this parade place that we saw from top of the fortress so my hotel should be very close to here damn that space is huge you can make a big concert here <laughs> wow it is a large area Oh, like I said before, you want to be here on every Sunday at 14 o'clock, uh, 2 p.m. There is always something going on here. Wow. Oh, look at that. Very nice. See, there is the top of the fortress from where we look down. So we are facing exactly... Uh, I don't know I think it's I think it's west very nice Let's see what's that I just discovered this one it looks like a huge Buddha statue you know what we gotta check that one out Okay guys, check this one out. This is a uh, very, very tall statue of, I don't know, I think it's, it's a Buddha statue. Wow, that's very tall. So, I suppose this is a temple. I did see that from the, yeah, we... We did see that earlier from the parade plaza where I told you, oh, let's check this one out. Well, this is it. And, uh, yep, there's a sign from the temple. So it's a Buddhist temple and I suppose it's, it's one of the goddesses. I'm not sure. Impressive.
Okay, bow to the Buddha and then All right, I just found myself a perfect spot to chill for the rest of the night, have a couple beers and then go to bed. And well, it's going to be a tough day tomorrow too. We're gonna leave really early, we're gonna get up at 7 o'clock, catch a train at 9 and then we're gonna head out a couple hundred miles to the south of uh, Korea and going to explore other places. So you guys stick with me. This is the thir third time I returned to this spot by the way. This is the beginning of the fortress where I started the hike today and tonight. Anyways, I shall see you tomorrow. Take care now. Goodbye.